Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here today to show you the TigerTech TR408 ATC CNC. We've got a whole new host of upgrades with this. We've got a Windows PC controller. There is pneumatic stops on the X and the Y axis for locating your board. We've got auto oil lubrication center, servo motors and a whole host more, but we're gonna show you how it works today. So this is the software that this CNC routers come with. It's called NC Studio. There is a whole host of functions that are used more on this. So when you first open it, it comes up with the homing screen where you set all of the axes to their zero, zero points. We can then go through to the manual movement. So in this, you can step the machine to get more accurate positioning. It's got a hand wheel. This can be used for all functions on the machine. So whether you're measuring the tools, you're setting your zero positions, you're jogging it to get it into a position, it can all be controlled off of this, which gives you more controllable controllability with the machine whilst it's doing its functions. So down the side here, you can see, you can choose whether you're working with the hand wheel, whether you want to step it by 100, 500, a tenth, half a mil, one mil, or preset distances. Otherwise, you have the jog movements. And on the screen here at the front, if I move it, you can see where it goes to the screen. So up the top here, you've got all the feed rates and spindle speeds and the positioning of the machine. So down the side here, you have your workpiece coordinates. So this is where the X and Y zero is for your workpiece. Then you have your machine coordinates here and these are all within relation to this, the homing position. You have your feed rate here for the job. So you can manually adjust this whilst the machine is running from zero to 120% of your preset speed. You then also have the spindle RPM, which works in the same way. Along the bottom here, you have all your functionality for the programming. So you have loading and unloading your program, setting your X and Y coordinates, the MDI, which is for typing in commands, the hand wheel to select the hand wheel to run the program with this. You can move it automatically to the work zero. You can simulate your program, start, pause, stop, and resume. Then along the bottom down here, you have the manual functions for clamping and unclamping your tool, moving it to the fixed position, raising and lowering your, lowering your positioning stops, turning your spindle on and off, and raising and lowering the dust cover. So then we can move on to the automatic function. So this is where you load your program. You can see it here written in the NCG code that you've programmed it in. And that's where you can load a program down here, find your program, load it up, and then when you're done at the end of the day, unload it. So then you have these tabs along the top of the screen here. In the offset, you can set your workpiece coordinates here for G54, 555, 56, and so on. So the coordinates down here are where your position is from the homing sensors. Onto the calibration screen. This is where you can set the tool lengths for all of your tools. So you have one quick, one click calibration here. So you can select all eight tools, choose one click Cali, and that will measure all of the tools automatically. If you only change one tool, you can then choose your tool that you want to measure, change to it, and then just click auto measure and it will measure the length of that tool. You also have the mobile Cali here, which is for setting your Z0 onto the bed of the machine. In program management, you can see all of your program files on here. In the log, this will show any error messages that display on the screen. So if you have any error message, you can look on this, it will tell you what the problem is and you can hopefully sort it out. So now we're gonna load a program on the machine ready to run. So we have the load function down here and choose the program we want to run, which displays up here. You can even load the track so you can see what the machine is going to run. So you can see here, we're doing a desk. It's a pretty simple program for this machine, but it's just to show you what it can do. It can handle far, more, far much more than this. So I'm going to adjust the position stops upwards so I can position my board. I'm going to run the program. So down here is where you can turn on your vacuum pump and your dust extractor. 
You then have four zones on this machine. So you have the front, left and right hand corners, across the middle and then across the back. So we'll turn the vacuum pump on, open all of the zones for a full size sheet and then that will hold down the whole entire sheet. And there you have it, quick and easy, job done. If you have any inquiries or questions, just give us a call or an email.